Hello everybody. A warm welcome to the 26th episode of my YouTube channel Office English. In the last episode I was talking about a career in writing in the corporate world that was technical writing. In this particular episode I'll be talking about another career in writing which is content writing. Many people had in fact asked me the difference between technical writing and content writing in the last episode was out. As a person who has done both technical writing as well as content writing, let me try to mention the differences between these two careers. Technical writing generally refers to the writing of user guides, online help and so on. That is when the product is out, you write about that. However, content writing generally refers to web content writing. That is writing the content of the website writing the blog post, taking care of the social media posts and so on. So, when it comes to the blog writing, that is generally a blog article can be of any size. A 500 word blog article is good. However, to create an impact, you need to write a blog article which is around 2000 to 3000 words. And the frequency of publishing that should be daily. It is not that you are writing a blog article every day and publishing that. What you will be doing is you will be writing what we call as evergreen articles. That is the articles that hold good to your particular industry. And when something happens in their day to day life, let's say a government policy change happened that will affect your industry or a new discovery has happened that will affect your industry. In such cases, what you do is, you write a new article and publish. Otherwise, you will take from your stock of evergreen articles that you have written already and publish them. So more than the quantity, the quality is definitely important. All the things that is related to technical writing also holds good here. That is writing in lists, tables, etc. will grab the audience attention. Oh, in the case of technical writing, what happens is you write about a product, how it works, you guide the user. When it comes to the content writing, what you do is it is more in the marketing area. That is, you can say that it is more creative also. Technical writing can also be creative, but not the kind of creativity that is present in the content writing. Now writing the web content apart from the blog post also comes in the part uh, of the job that a web content writer do and it should be a search engine optimized copy. So by search, search engine optimization itself is a topic that can go for days. I mean, there are, there are a lot of things that is happening and many people have taken that as a career. So, the uh, content writer, they concentrate on these aspects as well. Now, another thing is, another question that was asked was, what is the difference between creative writing and technical writing? I'll take this opportunity to tell the difference between creative writing and technical writing and web content writing. That is when it comes to the creative writing, it generally refers to the writing of fiction, poetry, etc. Alright? Now, an important aspect or an interesting aspect that I like to tell today is that generally, as you know, I publish my videos every Saturday. That is last 25 Saturdays uh, were the time that I published the 25 episodes in my YouTube channel. This time also I will be publishing on Saturday. That is you will see this episode on Saturday but actually I have scheduled to publish it on a Saturday. That is I am doing that before Saturday. The reason is on Saturday, we have a festival in India, which is called Ari the Puja. During that time, all our equipment that we use for our work, in my case, definitely the books, and my pen, as well as my laptop, will be kept for worshipping. So, I am publishing this, or 
I am scheduling to publish this particular episode before Saturday because on Saturday I won't uh, I won't be using my laptop. Well, so all those who are celebrating this festival, happy Ayurveda Puja! Actually, this festival is a part of a ten-day festival in India called Durga Puja. The nine days, the Navratris, we and then the festival and the tenth day is called Vijayadash. So that was about the festival and about the episode. So have a nice time watching this episode because now I will come up with the explain a video that is related to. Please click the subscribe button for latest videos in my channel. If you like my videos, please click the like button. That's all in this episode. Stay safe. Bye for now.